know, he's growing up. Everyone, everyone around Teddy has uh, progressed except him. And um, yeah, Pete, Pete, he's getting married. He's got, uh, you know, he's got his architecture firm that he's working at. And he just feels more just adult in general. The first movie was maybe the most fun I've ever had on set. And so to come back and work with these guys again, it's just, it, it's so much fun. And, and because we all know each other and all like each other, there's just an immediate comfortability and it allows you to have more freedom to say dumb stuff and just fall on your face and not care what people think and the best stuff comes out of that, the silliest and weirdest stuff, so it's fun. Not much has changed for Zach since the first Neighbors. Um, he, uh, his only major skills are throwing parties and so he's found a way to continue to do that three years out of college, you know, he's found this sorority and he's helping them become the first sorority that's able to party. And uh, aside from that, I mean, he's, he's essentially wearing the same exact wardrobe from the first one. Uh, he's got the same haircut. He's got, he's got the same everything. He hasn't really, that's, that's his whole problem. He hasn't progressed at all. Nick Stoller is a genius and his comedy, what, what I love about his comedy is that it's very, it's, it's never mean-spirited. And even the villains, I guess, you know, myself and Zach were the villains in the first one, you understand why we are the way we are. And so you can sympathize with us as well. And so you kind of like everyone. And it's nice to have a movie like that where you like everyone.